Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In today's video I will try to explain you how and when you can use GML visual drag and drop block which is called go to room. This block is very simple but very effective. All you have to do is just tell the game maker in which room you want to go. So just select this drag and drop block and then pick a room where you want to go. Uh, well, let's see that in action. In a few previous videos we have learned how to check if the room is first and if that is true we said to game maker if the room is first if that's true create me two buttons play and credits and those buttons that they don't work on the screen yet we will change that in this video and that's how you can make very simple menu or uh, buttons on in game maker for your game uh, but also we have added this a draw event which says uh, give me the room index car for the current room so we will see that also how it changes in our game now okay so we have main menu so now we want to add some kind of action to those two buttons button obj play obj button play and also obj button credits so what do I want to do? What do I want to tell Game Maker to do for me? I want to say, okay, if the player presses the OBJ button, play. So that means if mouse is what left pressed, for example, do what I want to use this block. Go to room. Why? Because I want when my button is clicked. If it's clicked take me to some other room in this case take me to first level to game scene one gameplay okay so let's try to find that drag and drop block it's one of the rooms blocks so it's always it's all the way uh, to the bottom almost and the first one says go to room that's what they need click and drag it to coding screen and it has only one field it says okay which room do you want me to take you and you have this button select resource on the right so you don't have to type you can also type and if you want to type you will have to type this room name sorry room one in my case room two or room four but when you type something here you have to be precise you can type and make errors so type with one o instead of two or two m's instead of one or eleven instead you can make uh, endless types of errors but you will also he, uh, have this auto completion and pick it like this or pick it from this right button which says select resources so you can type it here manually or click here and just to check what is room one yeah this is the first level so when my player clicks on play it will go to room one let's see that in action if it works okay so this is main menu it looks ugly it's only a prototype it doesn't matter it, what matters is, is if it works or not so if i click on cred credits it doesn't work that's all cool we don't have code but if i click on play simple as that you go to first room and you can now play the game uh, the problem which i see here i don't see now my room manager my room manager said draw me the number of the room the index of the room i don't see that that was here on the top and i don't have it so that means my room manager is not anymore in the room it was only here in main menu room here it is this is my room manager by the way this code works this is all you have to do so if you don't have time that's it you use this drag and drop block just to say 
take me to room which room type it here be precise or even better click on resource and that's it uh, for all of you who want to learn a little bit more and make some kind of more uh, complete game complex game i will uh, give you a few other stuff to to understand but uh, in short that's it uh, five minutes and you have learned how to use this block okay so as i said here i have some kind of room manager object in my main menu scene my main menu level that's all cool i have drag and dropped it here it is here it works it creates buttons but when i go to room one i don't have it here so uh, there are a couple of ways to uh, have it here also uh, the uh, most logical for most of you will be okay i will just again uh, click here on uh, room manager and drag and drop it here and here it is uh, that will sometimes work depending on what kind of code you have in it sometimes in it won't so i deleted it i want to show you something else some uh, other stuff to learn uh, when you uh, click uh, when you sorry when you select your object any kind of object you have this checkbox which says persistent and if you hover over it it says instances of this object will persist between rooms that means this if i check this my object instance will be in every room it won't be deleted i have only to put it once in one room and then it will become active and visible and alive here in other and here in this one so in every room so this is like permanent so this is like endless that's it and um, this is great for some games for some you don't need it so you have to be uh, cautious with it uh, but let's see if this will work another thing which we have to do now is that because this this object game manager it doesn't have sprite we don't see it here when i start my game it doesn't have sprite that's all cool with me and that's what i want to have in my game i don't want managers to be visible on the screen those are invisible objects instances uh, but just to show you that this persistent is working let me add some kind of sprite so i will make a new sprite right click sprites create sprite and i will call this spr manager manager, manager um, room yeah uh, I will make this very small maybe 32 by 32 maintain aspect ratio apply edit image uh, again very simple it doesn't have to be anything logical it can be some face uh, and that's it uh, yeah maybe yeah that's it so i want my manager obj manager to pick uh, room manager to pick sprite oops sprites sprite room manager okay so now we should see our obj manager with some kind of funny face sprite and it will be visible on the screen but yeah uh, it isn't for some reason just a second to see yeah it is here uh yeah i forgot to say um draw self yeah that's uh, that's a thing when you go from one game engine to another you have to 
remember all of those specific code uh, commands okay i need to use this draw self i think we have learned that before so when i have a sprite here and i use draw event first of all i have to use this draw self because by default if i don't use draw event my sprite will be visible on the screen but the moment i add this draw event it will become invisible so i have to say again draw it on the screen so now it should be i think visible on the screen okay finally we have game manager we have room index zero so now when i press on play if this persistent works and it means permanent i will see this funny guy room manager in my game level one and also this room index so we'll see what room index will say okay play here it is yeah that's what i was talking in previous video you see now that room index is three here why is it three you see here where my white square is i have this room manager so it is persistent it is permanent because we see it here and also we see here that room index is three so i have my room one here as the second in this rooms asset browser folder and i have room one here as yeah maybe it's zero one two three maybe it's because this one is three let me try it now i will now push this room order to be like he like this room one or room two room four so now my main menu is zero now room one is first so let me check if this will make i have no idea if this will make any kind of difference will show now room one no it's still room three maybe it's the creation how i created the room see maybe uh, the room one was the third in my creation i created maybe first room two maybe f then four then room one here i have no idea uh and maybe it's just some kind of random way the way um game maker makes these indexes but as i have warned you in previous video you shouldn't rely on those or even uh, use them for some complex code or uh, just uh, use the names of the rooms instead of indexes simple as that uh, so uh, so far we have a room manager it creates two buttons we have created the first one which says um take me to room one i can also change that and call this um, room one uh, rename into into level one yeah and you can see automatically it changed here so let me just test it once more and credits doesn't work play room okay great so this works uh, i also have to add some kind of code for obj button credits because now when i click on it it's still empty it doesn't work so if i click on credits no credits here simple as that uh, so because i'm lazy and i also don't want to make errors i will copy this event from obj button play right click copy event then go to obj button credits paste event um uh, save i have no idea what this is okay and instead of take me to room level one i want to go to uh not room two uh let me see what is room four uh I'm also confused i have no idea what this is i will make a new room uh, right click yeah we can see now um i have now one two three four rooms and now when i click 
create room this one will be actually room 5 okay that makes sense i will call that room 5 rename it into credits and i want to change the size of it and you can do that in room editor with 800 height 600 pixels focus and that's it and I want to say when you click with left mouse button pressed on this credits button take me to credits yeah that's it it will be empty but let oops debugger I didn't want to do that uh, it doesn't matter I think it will be yeah it does matter <laughs> uh, credits yeah it works and you see now it's room index 1 so it's completely confusing at least for me uh, the code works but i have no idea how this room index works uh, i don't uh, i don't have to use it lucky for me and for you uh, but in the long term um, i would avoid that um, yeah that's it i think for this video uh 16 minutes okay we have learned how to use this go to room to make uh, buttons uh, credits go to room credits and go to room uh, level one play but you can also make uh, for example uh, use this uh, drag and drop block to make some kind of level selection so imagine i have like all the levels as uh, buttons here on my screen it's a level selection screen so i have level one level two level three and so on and uh, i say if i click on uh, level one go to room uh, level one if i click on level three go to room level three and so on so that's how you would make level selection same as this main menu so that we uh, that is something which you would use in real life game development so this button and this drag and drop block is actually very very useful um, and again for that uh, index room uh if you're confused i guess it's uh, normal to be confused about that because uh as i said in previous video there are also other people here on the game maker community forum and reddit which also have the problem with room index which doesn't follow the order of the rooms neither here in this asset manager neither here in game order uh, sorry room manager order uh, that's it for this video see you in next one